Welcome to the Creative Suite TV Show. Here's the host, Mike McHugh. Tropical Queensland, as you can see. I brought my camera with me and I thought we'd do a panorama stitching this week. It's great here, so um, I've brought my family along with me and we've been living on nothing but coconuts up here. It's great. There's some juice in this one, guys, so we'll have something to eat tonight. Thank goodness. So hopefully you'll enjoy stitching this together. I've just taken some photographs out here. It's going to be great. Yes, mate? Can we wait? Oh, okay. Well, we'll sort that out in a minute. All right. Ciao. Hope you enjoyed the tip. Okay, so what a wonderful introduction. I'm back in the office now and I have downloaded my images from up in Queensland there. You can see their camera raw images took with my Nikon, taken with my Nikon D70. All DNG files, I've loaded them up. I've done some adjustments in Camera Raw 4.4.1. As you can see, the next step is I'm going to select them all and just open them all in Photoshop. So just click, click the Open button. That's pretty straightforward. You can do this with JPEGs, though, so you don't have to panic. Uh, oh, no, I can't shoot Camera Raw, which means I can't do this tip. That's not true at all. All you need to do is open the images. So took these photos, I made sure there was a least a little bit of overlapping space in between each of them just sort of visually uh, no tripod uh, got them all together like that next step is under the file scripts we come down here and we can just go load files into stack okay that's pretty straightforward load files into stack there we can add all the open files that's that's very easy and go ahead and press OK now <clears throat> it's a little shortcut uh, just to copy and paste various open files into layers and you can see uh, right down the bottom corner there that there are in fact four layers now so they're all in there so I could work that way and then go ahead and some of you may have already seen that when we select these layers you can shift uh, select the layers like that we can come down here and say edit auto align layers and it brings up the auto align layers palette. That's the way that we normally do it, and then we can auto blend them together. Let me show you a little bit of a shortcut here. We'll close that down, say don't save. So under the file menu down here, we come down to uh, if we come down to automate, you can see right down the bottom it, it says photo merge. And probably there's a few of you out there thinking, no, don't press that, Mike. That's rubbish. Photo merge doesn't do a very good job. But this has been greatly enhanced in CS3 and you may not have seen this dialog box before because it's super cool we leave it on auto you see that's exactly the same thing auto and we just say add open files here so it means we don't need to use that little script and then automatically blend images together that says just down the bottom there so that's too cool for school leave that on press ok and you see all the business going on in the background Photoshop is doing a belter of a job of joining these together and blending them. There's going to be something very special to have a look at as soon as this is finished because, again, they're pretty big files and you may be able to make out exactly how big they are. Uh, very big files. Just loaded them all in together and here it comes. Let's give it another second. There they are now. Now the beautiful thing about this, and I'll just hide the background there so you can have a bit better a look at it, is they're all layer masks. That's right. Photoshop has gone ahead and used layer masks to join them all together. So that makes life very easy for us to join that together. And doesn't that look wonderful if you ever get the chance to get up to Port Douglas or the Daintree River area and this is what you're in for very warm uh, climate up there there is something else you're in for as well I'm going to close these ones down and we'll just do, run through that one more time just so you can get a good look at it uh, got a, a um, couple of reptiles up there actually that you have to deal with so 
Let's have a look at these. These are actually JPEG files, and this time we're just going to drag and drop them into Photoshop. One, two, three. There's one of my friends there, and we're just going to come down here and say edit. Uh, we again come down to uh, automate and photo merge. Very, very easy. Add the open files and blend them together. Press OK. The crocodiles up in uh, in the northern part of Australia are very big and very difficult to get into one frame. So uh, what we've done is photographed uh, my little friend here. I believe this guy's name was Terry. And there he is there. So that's uh, probably about a three, three and a half meter crocodile there. And we've blended him together with Photoshop panorama. Hope you enjoyed that tip. Great bit of fun. Look at me back at work.